And now the moment we've been waiting for is here. In 1898, George Milliers created a groundbreaking magic trick in his film, The Four Troublesome Heads. Audiences were perplexed by this illusion, which used multiple exposures combined with matte paintings to duplicate the magician's head. Soon, other filmmakers were combining images in order to tell more complex narratives. For example, the film The Queen of Spades employed split-screen to contrast a man's dreams with reality. The same technique was used again almost 100 years later in a heartbreaking scene from 500 Days of Summer. Today, when we see split screens in film or on television, they often feel modern and edgy. However, in reality, humans have been experimenting with the juxtaposition of images for centuries. Triptych paintings from the Renaissance place three images next to each other to tell a greater story. In the late 1800s, directors began creating multi-screen systems that would allow multiple projectors to simultaneously show images onto adjacent screens. This technique was called polyvision. However, this proved expensive and difficult to maintain, so instead, filmmakers focused on combining multiple images into a single frame. One invention, a split-focused diopter, allowed half the camera lens to focus on the foreground and the other half on the background. The result combined two images that otherwise would be impossible to see in the same frame. Another option combined multiple images in post-production. An optical printer allowed filmmakers to re-photograph different shots and combine them into a single image called the composite. If you combine the two images seamlessly, it can create an effective visual illusion like the Four Troublesome Heads or the most influential cinematic achievement of all time, The Parent Trap. Actually, I'm not Hallie. Actually, I am. Both of them? David Fincher often uses a similar technique to combine multiple takes. Says frequent collaborator and editor Kirk Baxter, I tend to do a lot of invisible split screens. In a two-shot, I'll often use a different performance for each actor. We might adjust a take for timing or add a bird flying in the sky from a different take just to add that little something special. Alternatively, editors can intentionally call attention to the borders dividing the images. This technique is frequently used during phone calls, which can be traced back to the 1913 film Suspense. One particularly fascinating phone call scene can be found in the film Indiscreet from 1958. At the time, film code prevented seeing a man and woman in bed together. This scene cleverly subverts the rules. There are moments where the couple appears to be holding hands, and even a moment where Cary Grant seems to pat Ingrid Bergman on the bottom. Split screens really gained mainstream popularity in the 1960s and 1970s. The documentary Woodstock used this technique to make the live music performances more dynamic and immersive. Michael Wadley wanted to do split screen. I hated split screen. And Michael showed me by putting up two projectors. And I looked at the who and I flipped out. And I said, okay, Michael, it's terrific. Go ahead and do it. Brian De Palma also helped popularize split screens by using them extensively in his films. Says De Palma about the technique, it's a kind of meditative form. You can go very slowly with it because there's a lot to look at. People are making juxtapositions in their mind. His influence can be seen in many modern action films. So what's the future of split screens? Directors have used the technique in almost every genre, including documentaries, superhero films, music videos, heist movies, dramas, musicals, and comedies. How often do you sleep together? Do you have sex often? Hardly ever, yeah, maybe three times a week. Constantly, I'd say three times a week. Recent films continue to push the boundaries of split screens, including The Rules of Attraction, which has an iconic shot that transitions flawlessly from split screen to a single image, and Conversations with Other Women, which is told entirely through split screen. While the idea of split screens may not be a new one, 
The technique continues to evolve as directors find new ways to encourage their audience to make complex connections and understand their films on a deeper level.